I'm Leffy and welcome to another planty video. Today we are going to be doing another in the Art Meets Plants series and oh Rosie wants to be a part of this. Hi Ro. <laughs> and today we're looking at the element of art that is shape, um, more specifically heart shaped. Um, so I can't remember who you are. I'm so sorry I should have written down your name before I started filming this but you asked for a video on heart shaped leaves and I thought that's a fabulous idea so uh, here it is. <laughs> I've tried to make this list as diverse as possible in terms of genus. This could literally just have been a video on philodendron. Um, there's so many, it's so beautiful. But I've tried to keep it diverse to kind of appeal to different likes and or conditions. There's a couple of outdoor plants here as well. Um, I'm not gonna go into detail because the list is long, but um, yeah. Pretty much, that's pretty much it. So let's get cracking with uh, this list of heart-shaped leaves. So Homolomina rubescens maggie is a lovely, lovely plant. Um, basically it looks like a philodendron, but mm, perhaps even easier to care for. And they branch out really beautifully and can get really big. So that would be my first suggestion as a Homolomina. Then if you're a Hoya head, the obvious solution to this would be, Rosie's just having a small freak out, um, Hoya carii. So one of the quintessential um, heart-shaped leaves. Don't buy a single leaf in a pot like 99% chance it's not gonna become a full plant. So buy a full plant if you can, rather than just like a little thing shoved in a pot. Next, we have something that is native to our lovely South Africa here, and that is Serapegia woodii. Um, you get a couple of varieties. So this is the normal one, then you get variegata as well. These are beautiful trailing plants with kind of like little squidgy hearts. If cordisiform plants are more your thing, then Dioscorea elephantite it's called is lovely these get beautiful heart shaped leaves they look a little bit like sweet potato vine leaves i would say really cool lovely little cordex um something unusual perhaps for you now this next one is an outdoor plant asarium maximum these are really pretty um and also they get a nice flower i think they're actually a wild ginger so that could be nice um i don't really know very much about them but i thought they had a lovely shaped leaf and it could make it onto the list oh i think they're also called panda panda ginger which is very appealing. I'm about that name. So for the name alone. Okay, I've clumped all the philodendron together because there's a lot of them and I feel like it can just like bam, 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 bam through the list. You know what I mean? So the first one is going to be philodendron micans. So if you're all about velvet, philodendron micans, perfect choice. Um, Melanocrysum, I would say not so much on the heart because it gets long when it's a more mature plant. So we'll say philodendron micans for heart shaped leaves. Uh, then you have philodendron brazil. I forgot to bring you an example, but these are lovely if you like a little bit of t drama, two-tone drama. Philodendron brandianum is also a lovely, lovely example. Um, I don't know if we can get these here in South Africa. I would really like one. They're really pretty. Um, they look similar, I guess, to uh, Epiprenium aureum. My brain. Yes. Um, <laughs> but lovely, lovely example of a heart-shaped philodendron. Then we have the philodendron varicosum, which it's just gorgeous, I would say, a peak heart shape. Also because of the veining on it and the contrast with the red, I don't know, I think it's just, it's just super appealing. <laughs> if giant hearts are what you're looking for, philodendron pastazanum, pas 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 philodendron pastazanum <laughs> would be a lovely example. They get huge. You can basically just use it as a blanket. Um, who wouldn't want to do that? Um, then something like the philodendron sodarii, I just, I'm so bad with names, I'm so sorry. Um, I think this looks incredibly similar to the brandianum, except that it's a different kind of um, uh, growing structure. So I think these are viners, if memory serves, they kind of like trail across the surface and like go up. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, these are lovely and the contrast on them is beautiful. There's more of a silvery tone, um, so it's super pretty. Then this is Philodendron plowmanii, and you may think that looks very similar to the Sidarii. You would be correct. And then if I were to say to you, here is a Philodendron mammai, uh, you would say that looks very similar to the Sidarii and the plowmanii, and you would be correct. Um, there are differences. Um, once you start to look at the plants more in detail, there are specific differences, um, but I think they look pretty similar. If you're not a, a super fancy pants expert, I don't really think there's much of a difference, to be honest. I mean, I know that's blasphemy to say they're very similar. Um, I have a Plowmanii and it is absolutely gorgeous. I would show it to you, but it currently has a bacterial infection and looks like absolute trash. <laughs> but um, when it was in its prime, it was looking beautiful. So I would advise one of those. Um, so yeah, mine's Plowmanii. 
it was bought as a mammy eye. I'm still not sure if it is a plan mammy eye. You see what I'm saying here. They're all pretty. This next one I did remember to bring one to show you. So this is a Philodendron Herodiceum. Ta-da! Um, grows like an absolute champ and is just beautiful. Hey, Rosie, isn't it? <laughs> so, um, I mean, this I was given as a cutting and it's just grown and grown and grown. I keep on, I need to actually chop this off to fill out the pot a little bit more, but this is a lovely, super easy to get. I ignore this plant and um, it's just gorgeous. So I would say this is like the quintessential heart la heart leaf. Um, I, well, I think this is actually colloquially called the heart leaf philodendron. So perfecto. And it's really pretty. Uh, moving away from trailing philodendron, then we have the philodendron gloriosum, a thing of absolute beauty. Um, I think these are velvety. They look like they're velvety. I need one in my life. Um, there are a lot more philodendron, but that kind of, I feel like, is a nice little summary for you. Um, but moving into something else completely different, and I do have an example over here. Oh, Rosie. I don't know if it's going to focus because it's little. This is a uh, Tichidia ru 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 rucifolia. Tichidia rucifolia. Uh, I think it's also known as mil Million Heart, maybe. I still can't work out how to get this camera to focus. So, you know, picture. Uh, this is a lovely little plant and super easy to care for. This is what this is was this is was <laughs> this guy um, was grown from cuttings. He's starting to fill out his pot really nicely and a lovely little plant and they fill out really, really beautifully. So I would say if you like teeny tiny as opposed to your larger leaves, this is a lovely option. Next would be, I would say, the entire family of colocasia. There's loads and loads to choose between. I'm not going to list all of them, but um, a colocasia would be a lovely example. And they can grow outside as well, which is a double bonus. Um, I'm a fan of the darker leaves personally, but I think when in doubt, Instagram, Google, look up some colocasia and you will see that there's some beautiful, beautiful varieties. Uh, this next one's also really cool. It's like veering away from a traditional heart, but who says a heart has to be squishy? Uh, this is a pointy heart. Oh, those are some loud birds. <laughs> um, Cerastisis mirabilis, maybe. Sorry, Rosie just jumped off the table. Um, absolutely gorgeous. I think this is also native to South Africa. I want to get my hands on one of these. They are absolutely gorgeous. I'm looking at a little reference image here. They're so pretty. Um, so yeah, if you're looking for something that perhaps isn't a philodendron, I would say the Cerastisis is gorgeous. Then if you're into a colorful heart, because you know, sometimes green is not the way you want to go with your plants, uh, Caladium. Caladium are just gorgeous. Pinks, whites, reds, they are just stunning. And that beautiful paperiness is really, really delicate. So I think if you're looking for like a colorful, delicate heart, any of the Caladium family would be a fantastic option. Now, if you're a fern person, I have a plant for you. Hermionitis serifolia? She says, maybe with very little confidence. I think it's called a heart-leaved fern, maybe. These are really, really cute. Love these. But um, yeah, happen to have a fern with a heart leaf. Uh, if you couldn't care for ferns properly, all power to you. Um, deep respect. I just, I can't do it. I don't know what it is. But these are really, really cute. I would love to try one of these out, but I'm scared. Uh, this next one is a lovely, lovely plant as well. I have one of these. It lives in the garden and it grows like an absolute champ. I think you can grow them inside as well. Um, it's an... Apamea black heart vine, I think it is. Apamea batatas. <laughs> Apamea batatas black heart. It's a sweet potato vine. It's a black sweet potato vine. Not edible, she says. Don't eat it. Uh, but they're very pretty, beautiful, ornamental sweet potato vine. <laughs> Not edible sweet potato. But the color of the leaves is absolutely delicious. So I would really, really strongly recommend these. The vining properties is excellent. Um, now we're moving into another little clump. See, I told you the list was long. These are Anthurium. So on the whole, I would say Anthurium are heart shaped, but these are ones that I just pulled out that kind of stood out to me um, and are possibly easier to get. So the first one is my personal favorite, Anthurium balloanium. Um, gorgeous, kind of like roughly heart shaped, uh, spectacular, and gets really, really big. So if you're looking for size drama, this Anthurium is great. Then we have Anthurium clanovarium, the classic Anthurium that everybody loves. These are gorgeous. So the strong contrast is absolutely spectacular. And I think they're pretty easy to care for, which is always nice. So if you're looking for basically the Big Mama version of a clanovarium, the Anthurium magnificum is a great idea. So this essentially looks the same. Yeah, Misty. Misty's here. This essentially looks the same, but the leaf just gets a lot bigger and is really pretty. Uh, there are a lot more... <coughs> 
still. There are a lot more in Ethereum on the list, but I've tried to keep it like relatively controlled. Um, then we have a Peperomia, Peperomia scadens or Peperomia scadens variegata. Oh, Misty is about to knock the camera. Misty is not as careful as Rosie. She's a bit more clumsy, so I'm a little bit more scared that she's on the table with what can only be described as a precarious camera situation. Misty. Ooh. Okay, so Peperomia scadens or Peperomia serpens, I think it's the same name, same name, same plant, different name, uh, synonyms. Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> these are super, super pretty. So I would say they have a similar look to this. Oh, as she knocks it over, this Dishkidia. Or Dishidia. Um, but they're super cute, tiny little hearts. So if you're a Peperomia person, then I would say this is a lovely plant for you. So another Peperomia and the actual last plant on the list, <laughs> trying to control this tail, it's just wild, um, is uh, Peperomia polybotria. Um, I think rain, raindrop pella? I think they're also known as raindrop peperomia. Um, I think these are really cute. So they're sort of a really stubby little heart, but a heart shape nonetheless. And um, yeah, I think they're super cute actually. Oopsie. They look a bit like, um, oh, that was an error. That was an error. I think they look a lot like a uh, Pilea peperomioides, but just with a little point on the end. So if that's kind of your jam, then I would suggest one of those. Anyway, that is the list of heart-shaped leaves. Um, I feel weird saying that. You should go and watch heart-shaped leaves videos if you haven't, fantastic channel. So I'm gonna sign off before Misty knocks everything off the table. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video interesting and perhaps found a heart-shaped leaf that <laughs> could work for you. I really appreciate you being here. Thank you so much for watching and um, for being a part of the channel. <laughs> if you haven't subscribed already, the subscription link will pop up now, uh, potentially over by Misty. Um, thanks again. I hope you're all staying safe and spreading the love and I will see you guys next time for another planty video. Bye guys. Bye from Misty. <laughs> Missed my calling.